are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time Okay, everybody. We are live. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't see us. Uh, 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 we had. Nope, scene. Oh. No. Nope, Oops. Scene. No. There, there we go. go. Okay, we had some technical difficulties. Restream is not working. I've restarted my computer twice. So we are only on YouTube. We're not on Twitch and Facebook. Uh, I thought, well, that's better because of the way you have to enter this giveaway today. Uh, but we're going to be making you some projects, and we made some projects ahead of time to show you. Mine is this. just half, half done. Oh yeah, his is half done because we're going to be layering it. Like I tell you, you can't do. You I can. wanted to try it still. So. Yeah, you can do it on coasters. I've done it. On, well, I've done it on the ceramic, not the other coasters. Um, so we're here, and so because we couldn't use restream, uh, I had to do it another way. And Restream did not go away after I canceled it, and it was still causing problems, so I fixed it, and you guys don't care, do you? Uh, well, anyway, it took me longer. I thought we were live, and I'm like, oh, I forgot. You have to do so many different things just going live on YouTube. So here we are. She was like, why isn't it going? And I was like, the go live, go he's, live. He's pointing that button right there. You got to click it. <laughs> like I did my intro and everything. <laughs> So, you know, <sighs> now it tells us there's a warning. a warning. I don't know. Right here. No. Your resolution. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, design space. No. Infusible Ink Cricut came out with some new colors, 18 new colors, and they're so pretty. And then I opened some up today. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to show these. Like, so I had Alex open all of them. I'm like, well, we don't need to show all of them. I like, we'll show you the box of all of them. But to open up all of them, you don't need. But you do some of them. And some of them we haven't opened the bag yet. But Oh, yeah. We haven't looked at them all ourselves. First. Well, I also want to say there's not there's more than 18 because. Oh, yeah. There's more than 18. Some of them 18 have boxes. four. Yeah, 18 boxes. So if you do not know what um i made a fat cat it's so cute uh if you do not know what infusible ink is this we did the other night and we used this one this was in the second round of new infusible ink colors so this one has been out for a while and i've never used it and so like when i was looking for something to use for this i'm like oh i want that one um what's the difference between Infusible ink and vinyl. And iron on or HTV. Yeah, that stuff. Okay. So infusible ink is, it comes on a paper like this. This is some scraps uh, that we did. We'll show you. It comes on paper. And when you heat it, it turns into a gas. So then that gas, I don't know if I can stretch this. That gas goes into the fiber I didn't really see of the that. polyester. You stretch that like a white spot. I can't. Here, where's this D? There Maybe right there? Yeah. I don't know. I can't see what they can see. Can they see it? Yeah. So it goes into the fiber. Yeah, so it's, it's going into the Iron on or HTV will sit on top of the fabric. Iron on our HTV after about 50 washes, it's gonna start to peel off or, or break. Like, yeah, this isn't this is that's store not, bought, but yeah, that's even store bought, and his is breaking. Yeah, this doesn't break. There's, there's no plasticky feel, it's not heavy. If you were blind, you would think it's just a shirt with nothing on it, you can't feel it. It's infusible. It's infused into it. Thank you, Joanne. So. Yes, it has to be polyester. And you can wash it right away because it only works inside polyester fabric. So Cricut did a lot of research and they were trying to find the best fabric for the infusible ink. 
and they found this fabric works best so this is why they made t-shirts out of this fabric because they tested everything and this was the best you can use other you don't have to use cricket ones but they usually don't turn out as bright or they may fade a little if they have some cotton in them they will fade this on the cricket shirt will never fade thank you welcome to the group monty you get the emojis and oh that's also why i wasn't here early i'm always here half hour before my videos to chat with you guys well we were here but... yeah i was here <laughs> but i was trying to get things to work for a second i thought i'm not gonna be able to do a video tonight someone's asking is poly cotton blend okay it the higher the polyester the better the results it will not it'll wash right off of fabric so if half of this is fabric you would only see half of the brightness cotton. yeah sorry if half of this was cotton you'd only see half of the brightness monty you now get all of my design space projects and i have some awesome news for my supporters that you will find out in saturday's hangout you don't get to know before that welcome welcome to rain now are we showing what are we doing first Okay, we're going to show you some of the new, we're going to show you all the boxes of infusible ink and open some of them up and see them. And then we're, we'll, as we do that, we'll show you the ones we used. And then we're going to do some projects. Yeah, and they have infusible ink pens that we love. I have lots of videos on infusible ink pens and stuff. Okay, let's head on over. We didn't really check this camera. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, let's go to this top ones. I like this black and green. This is called Comic Dots. This one is from a different one that's also Comic Dot Rainbow. But so I'm going to put this on a baby onesie. It's not weeded yet because I like to show you how to weed. So you'll have to find out what this, what is. <laughs> this is and what color it turns out to be. Um, I think these are. Oh, you know what? I, we're going to open them. Yeah, I know. Do you think it's ombre? I don't know. The other one is the, the Comic Dots um, a Rainbows is gorgeous. Although I'm Welcome missing back. one of the sheets. I got two of the same sheet and I freaked out a bit. I'm like, oh no, is everybody going to have this? And you're not because I checked with other product experts who already have these and they checked theirs and they're all good so it was just my one box so yep these are all the same through oh no 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 they're not see from the box you can't tell <gasps> look at this one okay so also in one of my facebook groups somebody says don't stack up on this because it loses its color over time it does not lose its color when I when you see me open up the black ones, they're going to look brown. Yeah. So they're not as bright until you press it down. Thanks, Autumn, for subscribing. So this one will be this dark blue one. And they all come with um, butcher paper. So see how the difference is? See, and I couldn't tell that by the box. So this is why I'm doing this video, so you can see how it's different. And sometimes I move my image on it depending on what color I want. See how this one's darker here and it's more blue here? Black and green is different on me. Here, hand me the ones so I can put these back away as we go. Okay, yep. Yeah. And then this one. It has more color there and then goes up darker. So I'm glad I opened this up because I almost wasn't going to. They all look the same. And it's always good to know. And this is the orange yellow one. It has more yellow. So these kind of look like comic book like patterns and images. And this is the same. That's smaller here, and it just it just changes 
it's actually what it is is just smaller dots going to bigger dots yeah right, I need the box and the here's the box the transfer paper you mean the butcher paper the butcher paper or whatever <laughs> And I think this one's not open yet. I think this is the same too. So I'm just going to look at one because I just, I don't want to waste time if it's not needed to see. Well, it seems lighter up at the top, maybe. I don't know. I think it's the same. Well, it's maybe a little darker at the bottom than going to the top. Possibly, but it's not It's, it's not more, much. There's more, like it's like more paint. You yeah. Know, you could say. Like it's lighter up here and a little darker down there. Let's see. Okay. These I don't think I'm going to open because... It's just, it would be solid throughout the whole thing. This is houndstooth. This is a checkerboard. And this is like chevron. So it would be the same through this whole thing. This one we have to see. So they come in this black tube. What? Bag. black bag I I don't put them back in there as long as they're in the box I think you're okay if it's in a dark area yeah they all come with a little sample so if you wanted to cut a piece you could use the sample I always save these some people find other uh, uh, ways to use these eventually hey, you're gonna sew you a could. shirt together I'm gonna sew them all together not but Hey, what if we could put this on a card? We could. Yeah, we could even put a backing on it that would iron it on, and you could iron that right onto a card. It'd be nice and stiff, and you could use infusible ink on it onto a card. Because I've been looking for ways to use infusible ink on cards. I think that would work. See, I came up with something. Can you put the garbage over there? So I can put these black bags in there. Ooh. Okay, so now remember this one that we're looking at are these colors. And this one is ombre ish. We gotta find that one. And you do not use these if your hands are sweaty or wet. So here's the one with different colors for like mermaid. Oh, you know what, you guys? I forgot. What did you forget? To say the names. This one is Sparkle Mermaid. Can you hand me those and I will. So this one is also, I'll go over the last few I just said in case you wanted to write them down. And then that one. So this one's Sparkle Mermaid. That's easy to remember with the mermaid. Here, Alex. Uh, it's a blurry. No, it looks good now. Okay, this one is Comic Dots. There is a different one called Comic Dots Rainbow. So that's Comic Dots. This one is Scatter Dots. Scatter Dots. And this one is Basic Shapes. With the hound's tooth in that. And you guys, I got three giveaways. See this thing? I'm giving this away live in Design Space class Saturday morning. To win this, you do have to be live. For the other ones, you do not have to be live in any video. Only this one. Uh, things are not included. <laughs> so it's only a $30 value. Okay. This one, this one is the only one I've ever seen besides the solid colors where you get two of the same sheet. 
I was looking at this. I'm like, oh, there's only one sheet, but they always have two. So I'm going to show you this. And I use this on my cat. I love this cat so much, and I'm not a cat person. So look at that fat cat. That cat is in design space, and he always, like my... All, my attention it always goes to this cat. I see him every time I go into design space and I'm like, I wanna do that cat. Now I wanna do him in more colors than just what I did. So I placed him here in a certain place on this to get him those colors. I call it the crafty cat. He, just he calls him the crafty cat. cat. I call him the fat cat. And you'll see where we... So this is the full sheet and it gets bright like the box okay here's where this is pattern rainbow triangles. oh yeah i didn't say the name rainbow triangles so it gets this bright can't see it where <laughs> the color i did him is like around this area what do they search to get that cat? I don't know. Like, he's just there. Um, you can just search cat and he'll come up. Uh, I also had filtered to one layer, but I see him all the time. So I had, I also will show you a trick in design space. So you don't have to take your scissors out and cut that out. I, I know I've showed that many times before, but didn't this make it easier, oh Alex? Oh my gosh. Alex helped me cut all these out, and he also did most of them. Or yeah, all of them. I did all of them. He did all of them. Thank you, Alex. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have to use scissors and try to cut it out. It saved this. I have all of this still to use. And another whole one. Okay. Sorry. What's the name? Okay. Black shapes. <laughs> They're real creative with these. <laughs> wow. So, uh, what's this one called? Oh my gosh. Gingham or... Buffalo plaid. Yeah, buffalo plaid. So, this is not white ink. If you were to put this on a gray shirt, these white holes will, will be, gray. be gray. Thank you, Kelly. Hey. And what's welcome, Lindsay. So these are solid, just that and this. Put your paper. Put your paper. Oh. And then here's some more black and white geometric shapes. And I want to thank all of you guys in the video who, who have been with all my videos and you guys are answering the questions in the chat. So thank you, everybody. If you're looking for answers, there's lots of them in the chat, in the live chat. I think, do, let's open it so we can see these better. This is geometric shapes. Tiger and Pooh is here watching. This is really pretty. Tiger? No, this. You said, like, you said tiger, it's Tigger. Oh, Tigger. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just glancing at it. Uh, this looks like it's solid, but it's not. Look. Can you see? It's like distressed. I'm glad I opened it. So it's that way throughout the whole thing, but I want to see the different pieces? patterns. And there's, ooh, that's cool. Did we get the name of this one? Geometric Shapes. Just well, I know, I was thinking that was a different one. That's really cool. This would be really cool on a shirt. And then this one. Now yes, we, that is the same for all the black and white invisible inks. Yeah, the, the whatever part. you see white will be the color of the shirt. Yes, there's no white. Um, 
You got to think it's ink and it blends in with the fabric. So it will blend in with it. Now putting these on coasters, coasters you can do twice. So I thought of an idea of putting one of these on a coaster and then putting another color on. So we're gonna, we're gonna, Alex has one that we're gonna do yeah. something like that. Um, something like it. But mine's not white underneath. No. Uh, and you're like, I don't know if it's going to work. And I'm like, I want to try it still. <laughs> <laughs> and then I told Chad. I was like, well, I have an idea for something. <laughs> Look at this one. I have not seen this one yet. You've seen the box. Yeah, I've seen the box. How do you store the transfer sheet that is left over? I put it back in the box. Oh, and let me tell you another trick for you guys that have pretty craft rooms or just an easy way to find these. Uh, I don't open the end you're supposed to open. I did at first, and then I was like taping them shut. I have these on a shelf, and I have them on a shelf laying like this, and this part is the part that I see. So th I... The, the bottoms open so easily, and they close so nicely. Yeah, so mine are all stacked. So I can't really see the top because I have three stacked to a shelf like this. So we're seeing these ends. So I decided I'm not opening these ends because then my shelf looks ugly. <laughs> and you can't see the colors very well when it's not all on there nice. This way I can tell what colors it has on the end. So I'm opening up the bottoms. And as I'm opening these, show, he's putting them back in the box. Show them how one of the bottoms opens and closes. Okay. Oh, what's this one called? This one is Rainbow Shapes. So creative. Here. <laughs> I'll open this one so then, because I'm the one closing them, so then you can close this one on camera. Oh. Okay, so to close the bottom, it goes like that. And no, then that? No. And then that? Nope. You're doing it all wrong. I don't remember how. Oh. The one on the right closes This first. goes down. Hold on, they can't see. Oh. This one goes down first. Yep. Then this goes and underneath. Look at the. They can't see it. Well, I can't see it. <laughs> Here. Oh, you okay. push these down. Oh. <laughs> You're not doing it in camera. <laughs> You're driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I don't remember how to do this. Okay, because I don't think I ever close them. You do. Okay, so this one goes down first. Yes. And then the two sides. Yes. And you just push and look. And then this one goes in this little line here. Here. There you go. That's much easier than the way I tried to do it last time. <laughs> I see how you were the when I did the cricket stage. You're like, just let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so pretty. Oh, what am I gonna make with this? It's so pretty. Okay, and oh my gosh! You get two. Is there? Hold on. Is there four? Does it say There's four? There's four in so here. So you get two in each of those. Wow! I had no idea. I should read. Rainbow I shapes. just look at the pictures. <laughs> I just said I don't read. I only look at pictures. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm so happy I am too. Thank you, Cricket, for doing that. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> this one I don't think I'm going to open because I think it's the same. So this one is called Terrazzo. Terrazzo? <laughs> T-E-R-R-A-Z-Z-O. Terrazzo. Yeah, Terrazzo. Am I saying that right? And then... So I think I think this one's the same. And this one is called Brushed Sunset. Thank you, Lisa. So I think it's pretty much the same. Although this one is called Brushed Twilight. So I think it has the same thing. 
but it's hard to see so we're going to open this one so there's brushed sunset and brushed twilight so i'm going to open this one i haven't done that yet happy birthday cynthia it's her birthday week who cynthia happy birthday cynthia Did they change the, the backs? I don't think so. Done. The back is shiny. It's always been shiny. Oh, see? I just dropped a little. That's pretty. Oh. Now, this will be much darker like this once it's pressed. Remember, it does not look like this. Yes, That's all these pretty. are pretty. Yes, these were brand new, just released today. So none of you have them unless, I think they're only online. So you couldn't have gotten it today. Ooh, and this is the black one. That's pretty. I like it. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. I should have picked that one for the... For yours? For my top piece. Oh, I think it'll oh, be no, okay. Oh no, because, yeah, it's I think... good? Yeah. Oh, here, you're doing that. And I got two boxes. You almost in. put stuff away. Mm -hmm. I almost. almost. <laughs> Forgot what I was doing. What is the makeup of the Cricut Crost Crosters? Hey, did, we didn't come across these yet. No. Okay, so there's cork on the bottom of this one. It has a polyester coating. It does not soak in water. That's what a lot of people ask. The, so, yeah. These the are, bottom, here's yeah. another one. This one is a ceramic coaster. It does not soak in water either. This is one of them. Um, we just picked that pattern. This that. is a coaster. That's what I did. Welcome, Allison. This is a coaster image in design space. And then he did a splatter paint one. So we'll show you that one. Oh, this one. Look at that one. I I think this is my favorite, but then I say others are too. I love rainbow. This one's called Inferno. Oh, you used this one, didn't you? Yes. So he used this one for this, and he's going to weed that, and we're going to do that project. Happy birthday, Amber. And it, coasters are great gifts for people. You can put their names on them. And yeah, there's one that's in there that I'm giving oh. my cousin. Look at how pretty it is. It just makes me want to cry. I just love it so much. Look at that. Like, you could do a coaster set. Like, set coasters and cut them out of these different... There's some more. I made and cut them out of here so they will kind of match. You could put somebody's letter, their last name, or um, be happy, whatever you want to do. I guess you should Isn't just so show the coasters now since you just decided to show them. <laughs> well, they're, they're, we're going to show them with these. So we're almost there. Okay. Wait, I didn't show the other piece. It's gone. It's in here. So here's the black piece he chose where he wanted it cut out of the piece. Okay, we'll do this one because we have, I think, two of them. Oh, no, this that one's this one. Okay, so this one is called Rainbow Watercolor. Where did you get the square coasters? They're from Cricut. I think they're on sale. I'm not sure. I bought them on sale. Sometimes they have sales, and I always share their sales. Always. My birthday was in quarantine, too. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Needs to be on. <laughs> this is oh, pretty. Man. So this one is this top one. 
It's that top one. And then this is the second one. This is the second one here. This is really pretty. This is blues and greens in it. Isn't that beautiful? This is beautiful. This looks like it could be underwater. underwater yeah. You could make a underwater, you could do a mermaid or something. Well, that could be the bottom and then you could do another yeah. color on top. This is it beautiful. Works. Like like what I'm trying to do with the my coaster. You can put this on the bottom and then like a green sea turtle on top. If it uh nope, that won't work. Never mind. <laughs> We'd have to cut it. On a shirt you can only press it once. Well, but I'm saying on a poster. This is pretty. But you would have to, you'd have to. Okay, and then he used this one to make this coaster. And this is an image in design space. Yeah. I'm giving that to my cousin. Because she runs a mile a day, at least. But look at the difference. So don't expect this color that you see here. Yeah, when you see, when you open it and think that it's like, oh no, it must be old. It's not old. It's not, you know. Here, that goes in there too. Um, yes, if you're going to get one easy press, I'd get the biggest one if you're going to do shirts. I would also get the mini. <laughs> oh, let's do this one. This one I made my little monster. He was two layers in design space and I sliced his face through him. So I didn't have to do two layers. What was the name of that one? This one is Patterns Rainbow Watercolor. Splash. Patterns is not part of it. Patterns yeah. is just the name. I was just reading Rainbow Watercolor. So this one is Rainbow called... Rainbow Watercolor Splash. Oh, yeah. The one I just did was Splash. And then this is Rainbow Paint Splash. So that was watercolor splash, and this is paint splash. And this one here is what I did here. And see how it matches that? Well, wait till I show you what it did look like. Oh, it looks like this. <laughs> this is part of it. So it looked like this, but after I pressed it, it turned out like that. So we're gonna look at these a little bit. I think these might be the same throughout, but they're so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Welcome, Joan. So this is Paint Splash. And let me pull you out there so. Look at that. I almost did the monster with this. Can you make posters out of this? I don't know. I don't think so. Unless you... Yeah, there are coat sprays that you can spray a polyester coating on. Oh. Oh, yeah. This one came from this. We're going to do this one again, Alex's, with something else on it. But look. Look at the color. Because to, to be honest, looking at this, it's not really pretty. It's, it's it okay. It reminds me of... Um, but this, I love. I can't think of the painting. What's that painting? The stars? Oh. Van Gogh? Uh, yeah, Van Gogh, Starry Night. Starry Night, yeah. I remembered. It's one of my favorites. I knew, yeah, I knew you would remember that. <laughs> Okay, retro marble. Okay. This is the blue one. And remember, this blue looks like this. So you have to keep the boxes. Otherwise you will not know what color this is. Oh, and we use this one. Oh, and the dog. The doggers. I made a little dog coaster. <laughs> so 
See, we cut it out there. And retro marble. Okay, now this is my favorite one. I do not have this one, but uh, Lori sent me a picture and it is rainbowish. Like, it's not like this. It has more colors. It is beautiful. I have to buy another box of this to make sure I get that color. I have two of these. Did you see the name of this one? Yes, I did twice. So I, I'm gonna say, so this is, we haven't done yet, but we will be doing it. I cut out this yellow one. So we'll see what that looks like. And I wish I had this one. If you ever get one like that, that has two of one and not the other, totally call Cricut support. Cricut did give me these, so I'm not complaining. I'm not asking for it. I'll just buy another one. So this is like the other one. It has small dots. Going down to bigger dots. The same here. And this one, it's the same, but it has more in it. And then, you guys, I'm really sad. I can't, this one is amazing. Thank you, Lisa. It's really, like, it's not just green. It goes into, I think it has blues and yellows and orange and... It has so many colors. I think you should, before you open it, you should say what it is. And then when you're done with it, you should say what it is. Okay. Comic Dot Rainbow. But look close at this. Look, it has layers of more dots. Do you see that? This looks like 3D. It is so cool. And look, you can see through the dots and see the ones underneath it, it's just amazing someone's asking uh if you're going to do a tote do you need a 12 by 12 easy press might be easier with the it depends on the size of your image uh, i would do the 12 by 10 easy press we're almost done guys with this and then we're going to do some fun okay this is called paint Splash. So what was, the, what were some of the other splashes, Alex? Watercolor splash. And? Mm, I thought there was a paint. I thought so too. That one. What's that? This is paint splash. Rainbow paint splash. Okay. So rainbow paint splash. And then this is regular paint splash. I used one of those. Oh, what'd you use this on? Oh, this one, right? No, no, you didn't use one of these. You use sure. the other paint rainbow splash. Because I, I already used, said you used this I one. Used this. Oh, I'm sorry. He used that one on this. So I'll show you. He's like, I know I did. <laughs> so we have this one. What would this one be? This one is the top one. And I think they put them in order of how they come. And then this is the second one. So it's this one. What was the... And then this is the black and white one. See, it's black and white. So black and infusible ink looks brown until you press it. And everyone's saying, look inside the butcher paper for the other... The We unrolled all of it for this yeah. one. It, we... There, they gave us two of the same. And yeah, completely. they did. We made sure. We, we yeah. checked a lot. But they're not all like that. Because I freaked out. Oh my gosh. Cricket's going to go insane if they're, if they're all yeah. wrong. But they're not. It was only mine. This is cool. So he used this one. And um, this was weeded out. Wherever you see white was weeded away. So it looks almost like you're looking through a chicken wire. Is that cool? Okay. We only got one more, guys. Doo -doo -doo. 
marble. What was the other marble one? It only had two. It was near the beginning. Because it was also marble. Uh, it, oh, it had the orange. Oh, that one. That one. What's that called? Retro. Oh, yeah. Retro oh. marble. And then this one is regular marble. So this one is the top one. Look at the color of that. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? That would be like something that this you would put. This is so cool. You put that on the scrap piece and then put it on your favorite paper. Oh. Or a card. Yeah. Donna says pour paint. Yep, it does kind of look like pour paint. I want to do more pour paint. Yeah, I want to do lots of things. It's a shame we have to sleep. Hey, I love sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty. So that's that one, the third one. And then this one looks does not look a lot like the picture because this is green. So what you see here, I think, is turns out to be green. Sometimes the blues and greens are not what you think they are. That's why they give you a little tester. Okay, Alex, we're done with that. Should you, since I'm still doing this, what, what is that one called? That one's just marble? Yes. Okay. Should you say how to enter? Did you already do all that? No. You want to go over the three while I'm doing this? Okay. First, we're going to do a baby onesie. This is size zero to three because he fits my cricket a little bit. Who here has... Uh, Never done infusible ink. Raise your hand if you're sure. Raise, raise your <laughs> digital hand. <laughs> Do you, that's from that commercial, that sure deodorant. Raise your hand. I that will fit on here, won't it? Yes. Oh, that's the wrong way. It goes this way. Did you? Yeah, it'll mirror? fit. Yes, I mirrored it. Okay. Show them the trick. What's, oh, the trick. I'll show you the trick real fast. I gotta open design space. It's not even open. Um, I can also show you, if you guys are just joining. A lot of people say you they're going to Oh no. A lot Sorry. of people haven't done infusible ink. After watching this, how many of you want to do infusible <laughs> ink? <laughs> uh, so we have a couple giveaways going on. I have this giveaway where you will win all of this. I don't think there's a link in this description. But let me show you how this is us. <laughs> um, how to enter this one. The giveaway with those products to enter that I'm just gonna go to my YouTube channel uh, I shared this on Instagram I've shared it on Facebook in all of my Facebook groups so if you've already entered most a lot of you have um, don't worry about it you can only enter once but if you're on YouTube and you haven't entered I put it in my community so go ahead and click on community. You can do this. You have a couple weeks to do this. Is this the one where you have multiple entries? Um, Through one. You, you yeah, yourself. Yeah, so you have six. Yeah, so you yourself can only enter once, but you have six up to six entries. Yes. So you just click that link, and then it comes here, and then you can't see that. 
down here it says login using so login using your email facebook your google account or twitter account logging in one of these will automatically get you um entered and then there's more ways to enter like going to my youtube channel going to my instagram going to my patreon and i think on facebook so it's really easy you just gotta log in and it asks for birth because you have to be 18 years older older years and older. <laughs> somebody told me they didn't like putting down their birth date you guys you know what you can lie totally lie i don't care as long as you're 18 years or old, make up a birthday. You do not have to put your real birthday. As that long does as you're not over 18. Man. Yeah, as long as you're over 18, you don't have to do your real birthday. Um, so that one is for this stuff. And it's just going to choose a random winner. Uh, I don't get to choose that or anything. And, oh, okay. Let's move this over. So then we have this giveaway. So this giveaway is for these products here, these new ones, a set of square coasters and a small easy press. So the one we're using tonight, you will win here. Um, so you'll win that. And to enter to win that, you have to comment not live. It will not work if you comment live. You have to wait until after we're done with the video and comment under the video in the comment section. So there is a comment section. All you have to do is comment there. Um, tell me your favorite color of the new infusible inks. So comment your favorite one. Uh, if you don't remember, you can go back and look at them or go to the Cricut site and look. Just tell me your favorite one. And that will get you entered to win this one. So where did Design Space go? Here it is. So I will... I'll show you what I did to make these... This is just a tip. You don't have to do this. Uh, so here's the cat. I can image info. Let me click on the cat. You guys all wanted to know the cat. I can tell you the name. It's called cat. <laughs> that is funny. It's in the cartridge simple animals. Okay. So it, it's called cat. Okay, so I am going to detach this. So what I did is I had that and I had a square. But look over here. I have three squares. So I'm going to detach those. So what I did was I made three squares. I just made one, duplicated it, put them kind of over each other, selected them all, and I clicked align and center. So it looks like one, but there's really three. And I clicked attach. Then I put, and this was a different color. Let's just make him a different color. We'll put this, got to move him on top. So I'm going to align to the front and put him right there and select them all. The cat and the three squares are selected and attach. So then it will cut out the, the cat on the first layer. <clears throat> the cat. Do I have the cat cut out? No, I think we threw that away. Okay, let me show you the dog. Um, so here's the dog. We did the same thing with the dog. So it cut out the square completely out of the backing. Oh, you can't tell it's Oh, this one you can. The run one. We did it to this one too. So it cut out the complete backing and then it was just easy to take it off the mat. We didn't have to worry about cutting that spot out so we can save everything else. Because we had it cut three times, it cut completely through the backing. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's get started. Oh, uh, let's go 
to the heat guide. Yeah, here. Okay, so what are we doing first? You're doing this on Cesar right here. Okay, uh, so we're using the easy, if you only have the easy press one, click on that. We are going to do heat transfer sheet. Infusible ink transfer sheet is the bottom one. You guys can't see. Let me move this up. So it's the bottom of the list. And we are going to do baby bodysuit. Thank you, Norma. And we're going to hit apply. So it tells us the heat. Can you turn that on and change that to 385 for 40 seconds? And we're going to use an easy press mat. We're going to use a piece of cardstock and the infusible ink and butcher paper. Last time I forgot that. Uh, and it says everything right here, all the supplies, how to prepare it. We need to use the um, lint roller. And I need white cardstock. Can you cut? Well, I can cut it. Oh, there's my scissors. Because my cardstock's bigger than the baby bodysuit. Uh, so I need um, cardstock for that. And we're going to preheat for 15 seconds with the butcher paper. Okay. What's the temperature supposed to be? 385. Is that what that said? 385 for 40, right? Yep. All right. Let's go into that now. It's not there yet. But. Okay. Oh, we're going to clean this. We did this on Tuesday. Yeah. So, you, you have to do this to the shirts. Uh, to the coasters and stuff, you just need to wipe those down. With like a... a uh, Lint-free cloth. Okay. And I think doing this before you do iron-on is also a good idea. Okay. You can probably preheat. It's not quite to 385 yet. But... I need to put paper inside. This paper is oh, yeah. too big. So we're going to undo its bottom. Well, that has something on it. The butcher paper comes with the transfers. Yeah, you'll have or, plenty. Or I have bought butcher paper on Amazon also. Because the pen, if you just have the pens, you do need to buy butcher paper. But if you have some transfer sheets, you can reuse these. Like, we use this one over and over and over on all the projects we've already done yeah. today. Okay. And I usually stick one of these inside, but I don't. It's only 40 seconds. I know. It goes underneath the paper. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have to tell you these things. I know. I wasn't thinking. And you have to use butcher paper. Yes, not parchment paper. The reason is butcher paper absorb, absorb, absorbs moisture. Oh, my slots game. We should be in Vegas right now. This would be cute on a onesie too, little yeah. monster. Oh, we're not ready. We haven't even weeded yet. Okay, so these are completely different than weeding iron on or vinyl. This is like cardstock. So you bend it. You guys don't even know what this picture is. So you kind of bend it and break it. 
Sometimes it cracks. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off. I This outside piece I wanna take away. So I'm gonna bend it here and just go under there and pull that off. has a word on here this I thought it would be cute that the baby would say something so this is going up to the baby's mouth this is a file I made <laughs> and I made it because I um, saw my bitmoji had a thing that said this and I thought oh that's cute so I made it and I keep all of these little pieces because I have used, I've made a complete shirt, like a big design on a shirt with all of my scraps. And I still have a lot of scraps left over. So it took me two hours to do it, but I did it. So I saved the scraps, especially the words. Do you guys know what this says yet? No, you cannot use Teflon. It says, hello. Isn't that cute? I think it's so cute. It says, hello. You do have to mirror it. Isn't that cute? So, oh, we have to preheat first with butcher paper. Are we ready for that? Look at the, look at the, onesie again. Looks like there might be a couple little dots. Oh. Or okay. Body suit. Yeah. Legally, it's a body suit. Here, let's put it over here so I can reach it. It's hot. Well, you can touch the bottom of the case. Blurry. There. Oh, Nightbot has a link for infusible ink. I always forget that. What font is that, Melody? Great question, Donna. You know what I did? I wanted it to look like a kid's font. So it's a Cricut font, and in the font search, I typed the word kid. K-I-D, because I thought, is there a kid's one? I'm just going to type kid to see if there's one. And it was the only one. So it's it, set, it has the word kid in the title. So if you search kid, you will find it. I just thought it was cute. Hello. You guys like it? Someone said, can I use butcher paper with other iron-ons or just infusible ink? I think you could with other ones. Yes, the uh, heat pad is under there. Yeah, so I'm doing everything right. I just got to remember to put the butcher paper on. This is hot. Oh, well, it was only like 15 seconds. I know. <laughs> <laughs> For how long it was, I was looking to see if it was there. <laughs> like, it was like, did she just do it? <laughs> okay. I wish butcher paper was more see-through. You can see through it a little bit. And once you put this down, you do not want to move it around. Oh, will you turn Did that you one on it? just in case? No. Uh, the mini Easy Press, the, one, the tiny one, you can move that one around. It has a special coating on it made to move around. Not these. Oh, am I supposed to put pressure? I forget. Uh, on the coasters, it's no pressure. Yes, the cardstock is inside. And then the heating, or then the pad is underneath the cardstock. 
Yes, Kirsten, you can use heat resistant tape to make sure it's good. We used heat resistant tape on all the coasters. Some of the coasters. Oh, some of the coasters. Let me see. We put the heat pad inside just so it wouldn't go through. Yeah, I did it inside just. You don't have to. If you know, I would do two pieces of cardstock just in case, though. If yeah, because do it that way. We did uh, with his green one because it wasn't cut. It was just a square we did on this one, and we had cardstock. It got darker. That I hit it on the light. Yeah. Well. There you go. Um, because the color was over the edge. So it's better to have it cut the size of it, I think. I went in the school a little. Aren't you supposed to wait until the shirt cools off before putting the transfer sheet on? Yeah, it's better to wait because the heat from it will have it start working. Um, but I was confident enough that it just said light pressure. That's all I gave it. Should we take it off? Because once it has heat, it starts uh, turning into a gas. Oh, wait. What's it say? It says warm peel. It's hot. I'm going to let it go a little longer. Marion says we are adorable. Yeah. Isn't that fun? And it's, you can, you can stretch it. It doesn't come out. Doesn't smear. No, you can't wash it off. It's there. It's infused. I might put this on my Cricut, my plush Cricut. He has another one on right now. Here's the one he's wearing now. It says, make today great. And this one we used uh, different sheets and then we used a pen for the stars. And that one I put down twice. So now it's okay. mine. Yes, now it's Alex's turn. Is that cute? I've never seen a shirt like this. But I, I just thought that was cute that the little baby saying hello. Is that hello. cute? You guys are saying it's cute. It is. I just picture a little baby there saying hello. Okay, Alex. Now I get to read chat. Yeah. All right, so this we need back up to 400. And this is 60 seconds for this one. Right? Okay, so I'll bring them over here. To make sure. Well, and so they can see. So we're using transfer sheet, but we're using ceramic coaster. Thank you, Lucretia. And apply. So that's 400. Now, if you have the blue easy press, yours doesn't go up to 400. So click on that one. It has different directions. Oh, wait. No, wrong one. Sorry. We're doing the square coaster. Square. Yeah. Still 400, but 60 seconds. And we have to wipe it with a clean cloth. Yeah. That's what I always forget. And then you have your easy press mat, butcher paper, coaster, infusible ink, and butcher paper. Now, this, this is not butcher paper here. That is cardstock coaster infusible ink. I'm not reading. I'm just looking at pictures. Like I said, I don't read. I look at pictures. I do know how to read, guys. Okay. So you're reading it. Show them how you're I've reading it. I've never weeded this before. Oh, so that's great. So he's showing you how to weed it as a newbie. You're doing the outside. And I cracked all the edges, but... 
she was showing me that. Now I'm gonna do the inside. See, and it's not hard, is it? No. Some people think sure it's really the... hard to weed, but that's because they're trying to do it like vinyl. You don't need tools. You just use your fingers. Yeah. Rosie asks, what do I do with all these samples I make? Uh, they're just... They're, they're in a, a basket. They're in a basket, yeah. Like in a small basket, not like a laundry basket. So this is what I came up with because I couldn't come up with anything else. And it's going to be like a darker on top yeah, of the it's green. It's supposed to be like a black. But some of it I think will show through. Turn it over. See how some of yeah. it has light speckles? So. so I think some of that will come through. We've not done this. But I like that it looked like paint. Like, yeah. Like, like someone spilled a bunch of paint and then they're just kind of painting over it. Jamie compares weeding infusible ink to weeding cardstock on the cutting mat. But a lot of people have only done vinyl or iron on. They haven't worked with paper. Okay, Is that so. too high? No, I think it's fine. Okay. <laughs> and there's the sprinklers. I just asked a question. Then I looked at it. <laughs> I was looking at the letters. I'm like, oh, the letters are fine. But then I looked that there wasn't. Yeah, it was higher. Yeah. And I wasn't going to argue. No, I know. It's yours. You can do it how you want. I need to cut my finger driving me nuts. Kathy says you should do your Beard Adventures logo as a set of coasters. He he does one. that, have it in Design Space to do that. Yeah, and I have a coaster with my logo on it. Oh, yeah. We did with the pens, I believe. Oh, yeah, we did do that, didn't yeah. we? So what do I do? I don't know. Do you remember? Okay. Um, you, have, you have to put paper underneath it. Underneath it. And then you have that on there, so you're good. And then you put butcher paper on top. Whoa! Okay. That hit me in the face. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to grab it. I was making sure there was no paper cuts. Yeah, so we're going to see what happens. Um, yeah, this could fail. And I don't think it'll I wanted, fail. I wanted to do it live, so you we'll guys can see. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, so you do no four. pressure. No pressure. You didn't clean it, but it's okay. It's clean. I cleaned it before. Yeah, we before forget. I did that one. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> you got butcher and four hundred. No pressure. Sixty seconds, and it's blurry. Hurry. There we go. Sorry it's upside down, but it's just easier because the cord is actually down, plugged in to my table right here. Yeah. Hunch just has it says that you should sign your samples. And do them as giveaways. I might do that someday. Yeah, they all agree. Okay, one of these videos someday, I'm going to go through them. And I got some old ones too. Yeah, you have too many. I have lots. I have some Tesla ones. I'm, I don't even use them. But I did them with the Tesla logo. How much time is left? Five oh, seconds. I can see in the video. Upside down. Lift up. Now this is hot when you first do it. And this is supposed to be a cool peel, right? Uh, yes, it says cold peel, not cold. even cool. So we got time. We'll take this off though. It's, it's already like popping up. Yeah, it does that. So just let it, it's okay if it pops up. Now we just talked to you guys for four minutes. Here. Do you guys have any questions? You, you can't leave yet. You got to see the results. Yeah. Because it's... The and end. remember, you want to hand me my blades? Saturday morning, I'm giving one of these away. Oh, and this is sponsored by Cricut? 
I'm not sending you mine. Uh, and all these giveaways that I have talked about are sponsored by Cricut. Every Saturday morning, though, I do a live Cricut Design Space class. I answer questions. This one's just going to be answer questions. And uh, I give away $15 of my own money to one winner. This week, since I'm doing this, this is a $30 value. But then the next week, I'm going to... Let you guys decide right now. Tell me, do you want me to do one winner for $30 because I'm not going to do it this week? I'm going to transfer so next time we have two. So either one winner for $30 or two winners for $15 on not this coming one because that will be this one, but then the next week. How big can you get the shirts? 3X. And they have gray shirts. And, and don't they fit shirts. a little tighter, so it might be like a 2X? Yeah, they do fit. They're fitted. Yeah. Some people wear tight fitted shirts. Not me. Not me either. But that's how they're fitted. Now, normally on Infusible Ink, two winners. Yeah, it's mostly two winners. Okay, we'll do two winners next the next week. Go go, go up. There was a question in that. That's what I was going to answer, I think. Um, so on a shirt, you cannot put one color down and do it and then come back with another one and do it. I've sh I showed you how to do layers. I just did it on Tuesday, and I have lots of other videos to show you how to do different colors. You press them all at the same time on a shirt or a onesie or the bag on fabric on these coasters i haven't done it on these coasters but i have on my ceramic coasters i was doing some testing live in video and i pressed it again with another color and it was okay i did it with pens though i never did it i don't think i've ever done it with these sheets someone but the other question that i see is the rebecca there can you use any ceramic tiles as coaster no this is a special one. It has a it has a polyester coating. You should probably scroll down. Welcome, Marianne Shipman. You now have access to all of my projects. There is videos with the pens. The heat guide says to use cardstock on top too, or no, it has it a stacking cardstock, order pound, or four layers of butcher yeah. paper. Yeah, if you don't have cardstock, you could do four layers of butcher paper, but then um, just underneath the easy press in the supplies, it says butcher paper. That's what I'm looking at on for this one that we just did. The ceramic ones you do upside down. Yeah, I do have, I have a whole playlist of infusible ink and some are pens, some are both. I did a really cute onesie that has, I did actually give that to a baby though. It has uh, little plants. The pots were done with, tra with transfer sheets and the plants were drawn and then I had writing on it and it said, I wet my plants. I had little plants on it. It's a baby onesie. It was so cute. So I also show how to do the the pens and the transfer sheets all at the same time. How's it feeling? Warm. Okay, we're going to wait just a little bit longer. What are the different member levels? On YouTube, if you click the join button, you will not be charged anything. If you click the join button underneath, it will tell you you can click... And it'll say for 99 cents, you get all of the fun emojis. I have little cricket emojis and emojis of me. Golf cart, your car, me. Well, yeah. my logo. Little fun stuff. I, I can add a few more too. Just a little mystery box and a joy. Um, so that's all you get for the 99 cents. 
for the gold level is $4.99 and you get access to hundreds of my design space projects. So they're my personal design space projects that I create and you see in all my videos. Or you can do Patreon for $2 and you also get all of those same design space projects. What would you use these coasters for? I would use them for drinks. But they don't absorb. Yeah, but it keeps the table clean. Yeah. Like, I think I need one over here because I switched yeah. cups. I have this cup. I need a coaster. Well, like, I made that, that um, little box. Because it's getting my table wet. You know how that little box I have that I made? Yeah. The, the, the bear and the deer. Um, I could put, like, a coaster inside there, and then if it gets water. It's oh, I have an idea I've never done. I have an idea of, like, making this and put it into a card as, like, a little gift. I haven't made a card that these okay. would go in. Yeah. But oh, someone said an idea. alternative to the Alex Coaster could slice it out. Yeah, but I wanted to see if this would work. Yeah, we wanted to try it yeah. this way. I, I had that idea and I was like, Yeah, I just we, wanna... we could have done it. Yeah, and put without it without putting them on top of each other. I also wonder like would yellows and greens and oranges or reds mixed it would yellow yeah. and red and fusible ink make orange? I, th I think it would. We'll have to try that sometime. Sure. How do you raise your hand? With an emoji. You can use even this emoji that I have where I'm like, it's my bitmoji like kind of saying hi. Okay, is it cool enough? Sure. Okay, wait. Okay, are you guys ready? So it didn't Toodles. come up black. It didn't? Oh, no. it looks black. Let's, sh yeah, show them up close. That looks cool, so though. So you, you can see everything in the back. But it didn't come up black because he did not use solid black. That's true. He didn't use solid black. It was like a dark, dark gray. Yeah, and it had lighter pieces, and it had, like, those circles. Yeah. Welcome, Barbara. But it doesn't look bad. Yeah, it's fun. So now if he wanted it more exactly without the color showing through, then he would have sliced that through the square yeah. and did two pieces. Like I have I did a video just this last Tuesday. Two days ago. So. We'll oh, and use... you guys, where's my card I did? Did we put that somewhere it's on the other side of the room? I did a video this morning at 10 a.m. I didn't do it. it was, I did it on Saturday, and I edited it. So these are the two I made, and then she made these two. And then I'm going to send this to my cousin because she runs a mile a day at least. Okay, we have to be honest. 1,200 days. I didn't make those. Alex made them. This oh, is true. and the monster has a streak on him. From the light. Look at the video. See, they're shiny. Where's my baby onesie? On the cricket? No. no, I didn't do that. Hello. Welcome, Christina. Oh, Marsha Gates says, I so enjoyed watching you two. I even had my niece check out the video when you were doing the scene step cards, and she loved it. She's in quarantine in Bangladesh. Wow. wow. Yeah, the dream big card. You have to check out that video. Oh, and, it's probably over there. You probably took a picture of it, didn't you? Yeah. Um, the file for the dream big, it says dream big, work hard, What's it say, guys? Make it happen. <laughs> I forgot for a second. I'm going to see if it's over there. Uh, dream big. And I used textured vinyl on it. And you get the file. Everybody gets that file. It's in the description of that video. You click it, and it will open up a page on your web browser. 
and it'll say Cricut Design Space, open or download, and you can click open, and it will open the desktop app if you have the desktop app already. If you don't, then click download. And it will open that project, and you can just click cut. So here it is. Dream big, work hard, make it happen. So this gold is uh, Cricut's textured vinyl. It's like textured. And the inside is, I didn't put anything on the inside yet. But I like it. Okay, how to get a cutie. Sometimes they're in mystery boxes, not all the time. Sometimes they're in bundles, not all the time. And sometimes you can win them on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed and click that bell. Ding, ding, ding. I do have extra ones and I will be giving away some cuties. I don't know when yet. All right, guys, thanks for coming. It's been an hour and 20 minutes, maybe 22 minutes. I was a little late today. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. I love you guys. And I'll see you Saturday morning. I'm just thinking, am I going to see him tomorrow? I think Saturday morning. All right, Toodles. Guys.